guys, welcome back. It's Lethal here bringing you another nice spectator game through cast King style. Dun, dun, dun. We're playing the polls. What is the strategy of the day? I'll get into that. Let me introduce the players first. Lethal, whoever that is, is the polls. Gaia is Gaia. Rasgal, red player, is the Koreans. Uh, what? Okay, that glitched. What the flip? Uh, guys, we gotta restart. Crap. Let me do this all over again. Attempt number two. Here we go. Welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing a fun game today. As the polls. What is the strategy? I'm going to get into it in just a second. Let's introduce all the players real quick. We got a lead nomad map. Lethal, whoever that is, is playing as the polls. And we'll go from top to bottom, I guess. We got... Uh, Crap, guys, it's not working. What the flip? Why is this happening? Huh. I'm going to end the recording and I'm going to stream it. I think that's what's going to make it work, guys. Be right back. What up, fam bam? Welcome back. I got a super epic game for you guys. This is like the best game ever. Like, you guys haven't even seen a game like this before. <laughs> Okay, on a serious note, let's play, guys. Today, we have a Land Nomad map. The more traditional Land Nomad that I was talking about earlier. We got boars, deers, sheep, berries, fish, water, every resource. Every resource, all the resources, essentially. What is the strategy today, guys? Uh, what the fuck? It's not working. <laughs> what? Why isn't that working? Hmm. That's strange. I'm gonna quickly restart. I'm gonna restart this, guys. I'll be back. Be right back, guys. I'm gonna restart it. Welcome back, guys, for the fourth and hopefully the final time. I have to do another game that I did was also thinking of doing, but I guess the replay doesn't work for some games and it works for other games. So the game I wanted to do does not work. And the game that I was thinking of doing as a backup did work. So we're going to be doing the game as the backup. Let's jump into it. Welcome back to Lethal Gaming, fam bam. Hopefully it doesn't crash. We got a special game for you today. Every game is special. We got an arena map game. Arena means you're walled off with stone walls. You and every player on the map. All your resources are inside. So your deers, your boars, boom, boom, and your cows, sheep, and so on. We got lethal as the red player what do we do today guys what are we going to be doing today well let's introduce the players first and get into it we have yellow our ally the rp as the turks luring in a deer not bad not bad let's also take a look at the blue opponent he is the goths Nero, Mr. Niros de Biros, luring a deer. Not bad, not bad. Gets it right under the town center. That's really good. Last but not least, Chung Ching Mang Chung Wing Chung Wing Chung Cha. I'm pretty sure that's what that says. Our green opponent is the Koreans. This was a good game, guys. Um, 
Unfortunately, we do get spanked, but I still wanted to do it because I still wanted to stream it, guys, because record it, spectate it, uh, cast the game, and the reason for that is because it was a good game. Certain things happened. It was pretty intense for me. I almost had him. I did make one big mistake. <laughs> Look at that. My village was about to die. Nope. See you later, bro. We got that bird lore. I did make one make mistake. And we're not going to jump ahead of ourselves. I'm not going to spoil the game. I already spoiled it. So, rip. Let's go. We're playing the pulse. What's the strategy today? Our strategy is to get housed. 15 out of 15. We don't want to produce any more villagers. So, we're not going to be building another house anytime soon. The strategy today is pulse castle essentially when you gather stone you get gold so we're gonna try to gather as much stone as we can forget about this fall work we don't want to finish the fall work i mean guys we're micromanaging super nicely here <laughs> this first villager is gonna go back oh man i thought there was gonna be a fall work i thought there's gonna be something closer no 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 not oh, oh let me get that for you ladies first ha <laughs> screw you men first this guy betrayed her. See, he didn't do it because he wanted her to walk the walk. The narrow path, guys. The narrow path. Okay, let's go. So the strategy today is, since the poles receive gold with stone, is to get, essentially, a few castles up and rush the opponent. But we will see what will happen with that strategy. Hey, what are you doing there? I don't know. What are you doing there? I don't know. Idle villagers, guys. Idle villagers. I'm sending my scout back. Two... There's some deer now. Let's go take a look at our opponents and what they are doing at the stage of the game. We have four berry pickers. Don't pick your nose. We got another house builder. We got nine on board because I'm trying to utilize all the food. And boop. There's our first deer there. Not under the town center. That is not the goal. But, I mean, that is the goal. To get it under the town center. But outside the town center is not the goal. Let's look at... The RP, our ally, he got it not too far away, so that's okay. Not bad. It's better to use four villagers on one deer so you can get as much food out of it and up to nine on wild boar. A minimum of seven to get as much food out of it. I'm not going to repeat myself too much. Let's go to Nero. This guy played super beastly this game. I don't know this guy's ELO. He played really good. I had a really messy game. I was all over the place, so it was hard, but I think I did okay. I did okay. Okay, guys, I did okay. He has four berries. Six on that board. Some people do six. Some people do seven. I like to do eight or nine because he gets much food out of it. I'm not sure how much, but I think it's like 20, 30 extra food. I said five to ten extra food last game, but that's not necessarily true, I guess. Let's get going to the next stage. Boom, 24 villagers. So let's go. He just clicked up. Let's see. 25 villagers up. This guy's 24, about to go 25 and up. Look at that. See, he has four on deer. He's going to go straight to stone. This guy castle rushed me this game. Eye for an eye, guys. A tooth for a tooth. I castle rush him. He castle rush me. We're going to stop spoiling the game. He's going to build some farms. Going to the feudal age. Let's see lethal. What the flip's this guy up to? 24 pop. He's already halfway up. Okay, could have done better. Could have done better. Let's see. Yellow, my ally. 27 pop. Look at this amazing. This is amazing. 27 pop. He's a quarter of the way there. I mean, that's beast. 25 pop. Almost there. Yellow probably playing the best right now. For population feudal age timing wise. 27 villagers. And he's not going to be far behind us. I'm 24. I did get house, so. Ripperino. I am, uh... Already five on stone. I almost have the food prep for castle age, but all my crap, I do not have the wood. So I quickly send mistake. I could have done this. Boom, boom. Cut these stragglers, cut these stragglers. Build one or two farms. I did not build the farms. Rip or Reno. 
So we're gonna suffer this game, guys. I'm always suffering because we suck. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we don't do a bad castle age timing. We don't do a bad castle age timing whatsoever. So I'm already building my buildings. This guy's about to go to feudal age. Look at that. He has so much wood. He drops that market. Drops that blacksmith. It's best to get earlier wood because you need it. He has 655 food. Not bad. 3-3. Three, three. I did send 5 on stone. I guess that's a little minus for me. I should have probably sent a few less. But as the poles, you want to get your gold through stone. So that's the point. Look at this guy. Six on stone, already going up to castle age. Five. He got his game down. He knows what he's doing. Got. He did that. Blacksmith. Market. I'm gonna point one thing real quick. Blacksmith market. He's already going to castle age. Six on stone. Guys, the Koreans—they're taking over the world. This is what I'm gonna point out. Look what I did. Stable, barracks, blacksmith. You guys notice the mistake here? I built a stable instead of in a barracks. Instead of just two buildings, I did three. Rip. Rip. That was my mistake. Look at this, guys. You don't want to do this. Eight. <laughs> I was desperately trying to get that food. So I set the whole freaking armada. Out there in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we still have five on stone. But look at this. We're already 660 stone. Our castle age timing is garbage. But it's not too bad. This guy has a 14 minute castle age timing. That is solid. Let's see what he does. Drops a town center. Got his first town center up. Saving up that stone. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's go check green. He's about to go to Castle Age. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. Oh my goodness, I mean... Right? Right, guys? <laughs> Nine villagers. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> hey there, what up? Let's play tug of war. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Crap, they have two scouts on me. I deleted my scout this game, guys. I did it on my scout, and I'm like, crap, he's building a castle. I'm fighting his scouts. This is rough. This is rough for us. And we're going to do the best we can. This guy has really good micromanagement, so he's he's not a bad player, guys. He, he, he's got 14 half in a castle. Micromanaging the scout really nicely. Bugging us. What's yellow up to? Oh, he got to Castle Age. He's dropping a defensive castle, a monastery. He knows what he's doing. He's going to go collect relics. He's going to start pumping out troops. What's Lethal up to? I mean, he just got to the Castle Age, right, guys? He's doing good. I mean, he's building a castle, right? 27. <laughs> Those guys, if only they knew that was 27 HP. That's two hits and it's dead. Look at this quick wall. I mean, he almost quick walled a villager. Oh, but he deleted the castle. He ran. Rip. <laughs> Rip, guys, run. Lethal, run. Get the hell out of there. I don't know what you're doing. This palisade wall was almost built. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> so I decided to build a defensive castle. I'm like, snap. This guy's going to come through. He's going to attack me soon. I divert my villagers. I send one and I send the rest. I'm like, I'm going to delete the castle. No, never mind. I'm going to build it. Send my villagers. We're at 450 stone. We're so close. It's going to take no time at all to get another castle. We saved this villager. But not for long. Rip. I send them back. That's what happened. I'm like, what the hell happened? So he was queued and hotkeyed. With this hockey. I forgot to unhockey it. So we're still rusty with our hockeys, guys. We always misclick. Do stupid things. And whatnot. This was not a good lumber camp placement. I mean, look. Look at all these trees. This is a great lumber camp placement. Should have done it here. Should have done it there. Rip. We're just playing. Doing whatever we want. Our scores are not bad. Yellow is doing well. Let's go check him out. 
He, look at this. He built five hand cannoneers. He's collecting relics. This guy's a savage. His ally right here realized he's screwed up. And he's building a town center. I mean... Rip, 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 rip. Blue. I want to look at blue, guys. This game, blue, did amazing. He's at three town centers. And I wonder why he wrecked us. He boomed. He went boom. I went aggressive. My goal was to kill green. Yellow wasn't booming. His goal was to attack. What kind of mistakes Yellow made, we'll find out soon enough. Let's take Fog of War off. I want to keep an eye on the map. Boom. Guys, Blue is making sure he doesn't get housed. There's this Billy, Mary Joseph, Matilda. Matilda, she's going to be building houses probably for the rest of the game. I need to do that, guys. I need to get one villager, build houses nonstop because I keep getting housed. Three town centers, 25 farms. Heavy plow, just researched. This guy's a beast. 54 population. Yellow's 55, not far off. But look at this. Look at this mistake, guys. Big mistake. 12 soldiers chilling. He has two, three town centers. Now he's going into boom. This shouldn't be chilling, but he's prepping, guys. He's prepping. So we'll give him a break. He's prepping. He's going to rush. He's going to attack someone pretty soon. Green, on the other hand, 50 pop. One, two town centers, just like me. Dos Bros Tacos. And he's making his way in, guys. He has four war wagons. A fifth one here. He's going to take that stone. This stone. My goal was to build this castle here. Because look at all that stone. One, two, three stone piles. That would have been amazing. I was slow. Do not do this, guys. Build a market. Build a blacksmith. Forget about this. In the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm a scout rush, maybe. Not scout rush, but support scouts. Maybe have those as a backup. But it's not worth it. We're going full on... Obuch, guys. We're trying to go full on Obuches. Look at this veteran. Look at this veteran. <laughs> he just walked past the castle. Where is he going? Ah, he knows where he's going. He's just taking a lonely walk. He's just taking a lonely walk downtown. That was another big mistake. I was sending him here. Look at this guy. They got a castle up. We're prepping this. We got two petards. Yellow's gonna come in and join the fight. Big mistake. This guy should have went right here. Bomb this guy. And attack him. Bomb this guy. And attack him. His castle's on one side. He can only protect this portion of the map. The rest is history. But no. Yellow's gonna come help me. Blue sees this aggression. Perfect reaction time. Drops five barracks. I mean, this guy... Has all the freaking resources in the world. Let's quickly see. Nero's 78 pop. He's macroing. And he's prepping. He's transitioning. Good stuff. Let's look at green real quick. He's going to make a huge attack right now, guys. We don't see the future. We didn't play this game. Clearly. Yellow is aggressively attacking him. Pressuring him. And now green's like, oh crap, I got to do something. Let's go forward. Boom. Here we go. Here we go. Kamikaze. Kamikaze, call me Kazi. Shout out to my brother-in-law. What's up? Kamikaze, Mr. Kazi. So, he's going to attack. This is smart. I see this, but I'm prepped, guys. I'm prepped. Let's take a look. I got four Mr. Chabolis Kaholis, but he has a solid army of seven war wagons and only four Obuch. But these guys are going to shake th these uh, rams. I'm micromanaging just a little bit. Right there. See that guy's finally my girl. Good stuff. Good stuff. I start building more. I'm like, oh snap. This guy's attacking. Meanwhile, he's harassing on this side. And I'm bringing in my petards and taking down this town center. Boom. Trying to take that out. He's getting the castle. Look at this, guys. Boom. We blew up our petards. Lots of stuff going on. I mean, this is a good game. There's so much going on. But look at this. Blue's coming in clutch. He boomed. He has this. He bought the research. So he's going to be building a whole bunch of troops. Look at this. I pushed him out. I micromanaged my castle. I made sure I focused on the war wagons. Now we're sending the last two troops to kill this guy. We have one villager to repair the castle. This town center is destroyed. Blue came in clutch. Yellow has done a little bit of damage here and there. I'm like, oh snap. 
I gotta go. I gotta go. Get in. I gotta get in, guys. Let's look at Blue's population. I, I queue up some more, guys. Blue is capped. His Billy Bob Joe Frankie has disappeared. She's not building anymore. Mrs. Mary. Joseph. He stopped. He stopped all that. He's going full on combat, guys. You can tell. He's joining his ally. This guy makes a big mistake, too. He could have attacked this castle, taken it down. He has more than enough troops here to defend. These guys suck against these guys. But guess what? Yellow. He's going macro. Let's check his economy. He has 92 villagers. He's not that far behind. I mean, 92 pop. So he's not that far behind economically. He's actually ahead, technically, possibly. Then blue. So it's a pretty, pretty well-balanced game right now. This guy built his second town center here. Another town center is gone. He's building a third town center. I finally defended. He's dropping a castle. Lots of stuff going on. Look at this guy. He's boom sending. He has 15 hoose girls coming in. I did not see this, guys. I was all over the place. I was attacking here, defending here. I was doing this. I mean, I sent some villagers here, but I did notice him building. I just didn't know how much he had because he attacked these villagers and I ran off. So, I drop a castle. And this is a big clash right here. Oh, snap. I got four freaking troops. I was trying to pump out as much as I could. Sayonara. We're screwed trying to quick wall. It's not going to work. This guy's going to get crushed. He imped. Yellow is imped. This guy has a bazillion Huskerals. Look at all the resources Yellow has. He's not doing anything with them. Big mistake, guys. Utilize your resources. Utilize your resources. Oh, yeah. Let's see what Lethal's doing. Oh, man. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He quick walls the castle. He got one villager building it. Not bad. Blue has 35 units. Green, on the other hand, is going for boom. Got three town centers. Two town centers. I'm like, snap, this is going into a booming game. I don't know what to do. I, I did my best. I mean, we kind of took green out, but not really. Right, guys? Look at this. 29 villagers. I looked at blue, and I'm like, dang. We're in the lead, though, guys. Look at the scores. Green is a 1,000 less than me. I have 50 pop. Green has 56. So he's just ahead by 6. Not much. We're pretty even. Well balanced. I'd say I have the upper hand because I'm not in the most riskiest place. He has a riskier town center here. Town center here. I mean, we are inside his base. He can't do anything with that. Me, however, I'm still safe and sound until... Blue rolls up and is like, what's up? Mr. Nero's 170 pop. This guy's a beast. Let's check out his economy. It's infantry 62. Villagers 20, 36. I mean, this guy did a nice boom and reacted nice. He had the economy to build a lot of troops. And I'm like, oh, snap. I got to build a defensive castle. I got to pop out as much troops. These guys technically are against troops. What I mean to say, Obuches are technically anti-infantry. Huskarl is an infantry troop, but unfortunately, he has more upgrades than me, and I only have two dudes chilling. <laughs> this guy has 37 Huskarls. I mean, what the flip are we supposed to do against that? Green's backing him up. This is where we lost the upper hand. We invaded Green, had that upper hand, and now it's going down the drain. I have to run like... Like a chicken. He upgrades to Elite Huskerl. I'm at 53 pop. I'm totally getting the hammer. Uh, Yellow's doing nothing. A big mistake, guys. He imped first. He's probably just not as good of a player as Blue, of course. He imped first. Has idle villagers here. He's not building much army. He's decided to attack. But blue is ready. Remember, Elite Janet series counter Elite Huskerls easily. But unfortunately, he does not have the army to defend. I'm running. He split his army to help here. And he's attacking here. Should have probably just ignored me. 
and went full on kill blue. And blue clears him up. He has the numbers. He clears up here quite nicely. Honestly, I would say not worth it. I was dead anyway, so this would have been better. Starts building skirmishers. Blue is transitioning into scrims. Super smart. Super smart. Let's take a look at green real quick. He's just going to go full on war wagons. He's going to keep attacking with his rams. Blue's like, oh crap. He needs to move out. I quickly replace the town center lost. Build some farms. I build some more poles, troops, and start harassing his economy within his base. If only I started scouting this way, I would have saw these town centers and harassed them as well. But I was like, ah, we're screwed. I built the town center, so I'm like, I'm going to attack blue. <laughs> But at this stage of the game, guys, it's too late. Let's see this massive battle. I'm way behind. I got 50 population. Blue is fully maxed. Imperial Age. My goal here was to go full castle. I did some damage, but I wasn't able to transition in time into economy. Because they already had that advantage. I got 2v1 banged. Yellow didn't have the troops. Look at this. This guy has a fat army. Lots and lots of troops. I mean, just in here is more than 60 at least. At least 80 troops here. 20 elite skirmishers, 40 husk girls, maybe 25, 35. He's trebbing down his castle. This guy has very little army. He lost all this, but he did defend well here. And now he's about to lose all of this. Ripperinos! Say your Hail Marys, guys. The Turks are going down by Goths. Unfortunately. Turks are supposed to beat Goths, but if you're a worse player, Goths can easily cream you. Just saying. Let's check out Yellow's economy. I'm really interested to see what he has. He has so much food. This guy should have backed up with horsemen. Yeah, it's too late now. It's too late now. But he's hey, he has the right idea, guys. So let's not let's not you know put him down too much. Let's give him credit. He has the right idea. I have the right idea. I'm building a few troops. This guy, guys, I don't know where I was this game. I was in the Dark Age. I was in Stone Age. I don't know what I was doing. I was just off of it. When I when he <laughs> rushed with his castle first and I failed, I was like, oh, we're screwed. But I then I attacked here and we still did well. We still pressured green. We almost took him out. Almost, guys. There's one thing I missed out to point out, but it's okay. Essentially, what happened was I attacked his castle here when I came in. And we almost killed it. Half of its HP. That's where... Uh, I knew I lost the game because I didn't take down his castle. If we took down his castle, we would have had it. But, of course, now that I see blue playing really well, I'm realizing more and more that uh, we would have lost anyway. Because he was a good player. He prioritized macroing first, and then he transitioned on time to our aggression. He's taken down my castle, my villagers. I'm trying to harass him here. <laughs> One Obuch guy is kicking it, chilling. I build a few more. I build another town center, kind of late for that. Look at this guy storing up on war wagons. He has this side of the map. Essentially, I'm pretty much out of the game. I still have a few villagers in production going at it, but not much going on for me. Yellow is like, okay, I'm going to give it one more front, one more chance. 7.1. Not too many resources, uh, I mean, researchers on Hussars. His elite janitors are pretty much maxed. They are the strongest troop that he has out. But he doesn't have the numbers, guys. He's going to get creamed right now. He's going to attack. This is a short-lived battle. Notice the micro. Not bad pull. He pulled his Hussars back. They're tanking. They're meat shielding for these guys to do damage. But he's going to swarm him. Take him out of the game. Not enough troops. Yellow should have 
ignored me and just helped instead of helping me he should have just helped kill him, him helped himself and helped kill blue so to speak he attacked with a very small army if he pressured his economy he would have had him blue either would have went this way or came back to help yellow quits I'm uh, sending a few troops yellow swag I resign <laughs> <laughs> GG guys big mistakes on my end going three buildings delayed my castle age quite a bit and then when I came here I bombed the wall we went in but we didn't take the castle I was so close to killing it guys I should have built a few more petards I had two petards blew up most of it had like eight to ten soldiers I did not catch that because there's so much going on it guys Pretty intense game, pretty intense game. It was still a good game. That's why I decided to stream it, talk about it, and it's the only game I could cast because the other games are crashing. I don't get it. Why certain games crash and why other games don't, I don't know. It's going to be kind of depressing if I get really good games that I can't cast for you guys. And I mean games that I win and I play well, but that's okay. This guy had a, the upper hand right away. Green and I, we're good, guys. Green and I, we're good. He's rushing, I'm rushing. So that's okay. That's okay. Me and Green were kind of well-balanced. And at one point, I had the advantage. So I beat Green this game. Technically, I did fairly okay, even though I wasn't playing the best. And I deleted my scout over here on accident. Yellow against blue, guys. Yellow got to the age faster. He had troops quicker. But he didn't use those troops. Blue boomed, had no troops. Instead of going here... Yellow went here. That was the decision of the game, guys. That decided the game. Let's not pick on Lethal for screwing up his castle rush. <laughs> let's, let's not pick on Lethal for taking out Green and then losing the game, even though he had the upper hand against Green. Let's focus on Yellow's mistake and not attacking Blue because Blue went full economy. And once he built a few eco, he saw the serious harass and he sat around with eight Janissaries way too long. So, and he stood on one town center. Way too long. Blue transitioned. Perfect time. Yellow was too slow. And like I said, Blue's probably the better player. Notice how he macroed, microed well. He's probably a higher ELO. So I'm not going to be too hard on Yellow. But those are just mistakes he made. He was sitting around doing nothing. Even though he had the upper hand imped earlier. Castle aged earlier, I believe. Or it was maybe a similar time. And um, whatnot. We could actually check in the scores if we see them after this okay green on the other hand perfect forward castle he made a mistake here in the sense he did try to b attack this destroy it he lost that i totally creamed him guys i creamed him i came out on top i defended the castle why was that a mistake guys why was attacking this castle a mistake what was happening at his base during that time we had troops there was Janissaries. We were killing him. We took down a town center. We blocked him from these resources. He went here, though. Really smart. And that's where Yellow made a mistake. He should have moved around more. Set more troops. He had more troops back at home doing nothing. Closed in Green. Because his goal was to choke Green and kill him. If he did that and it became a 2v1 game, things probably could have went differently. Because I would have had all my economy. But Blue came in on time and destroyed me. And then destroyed him. GG guys, well played, even though we lost. There's things to learn, things to be said. I could keep going on forever and ever, but that's it for now. Let's see if we can go to the score screen. Statistics, yes, yes. Let's look at the statistics. Technologies. Castle Age timing. He's just a little later. Blue was the first Castle Age. Look at my delayed Castle Age. That's so depressing. Guys, we want to build a Blacksmith and Market. would have had a solid Castle Age timing as well. Look at this Imperial Age timing. 31. Green and I never got to Imperial Age. He got three, to Imperial Age three minutes later. Let's look at the military. 164 units killed. 187 killed. 136 lost. 102 lost. I lost 102 units. Lots of units, guys. Ugh. That's depressing to look at. Green lost 65, so not as much as me. He kept most of his villagers alive. I lost a lot of villagers, especially when they raided my economy. Lots of food. He should have... 
tried to build those scouts. He built them late, so unfortunate for him. Look at that difference in the economy. Not bad. He beat him on food. Blue beat him on wood. But stone, guys. I'm the stone king. <laughs> we got one star this game. Out of 4,200 stone, I collected 2,200 gold. But I did start collecting gold later on. So, I don't know how much of that was stone gold. Probably like 1,500. 14,000 gold collected. What a beast. 9,000 gold collected. Green did really well as well for gold. 11, 14. This guy had really good timings. Uh, I had 10 seconds later, but he had one villager. Guys, getting housed is a big deal. Big deal. Really good castle age. I screwed up on my castle age. So rip or Reno. Society, look at this guy though. I was going to mention this. 116. I mean, he had the highest villager count, but he was slow on his villagers. Look at the 2,600 gold relic. Relic gold. So technically... He's not too far off from the 14,000 total. He's around 13,000. Not bad, not bad. Has more villagers. Didn't play the better game. GG, guys. All right, guys. Fam, bam. I love y'all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. That concludes this cast. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'll see you next time. That's the polls. That's my strat. Chris Pratt. Let's go, guys. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs>